hello everyone so today we will uh, uh, do a video about how to transfer the data between two PLCs uh, using the OPC uh, OPC server connection okay this is this is like a test project and uh, just for fun we can try this uh, we will transfer so in today's experiment we will transfer the uh, data from ABB to ABB PLC AC500 PLC to Siemens S7400 PLC and back Siemens 400 to ABB PLC so basically we I made a small program like uh, I'll be sending a heartbeat like on off bit from ABB and my M15.0 this bit will receive that uh, heartbeat and I will send back that heartbeat from M15.1 and uh, this is just for checking like uh, what is the value uh, I am loading value number 20 to MW400 and I, when I configure my OPC server I can make sure I am getting some value in M400 and MW410 uh, it's the value that I am going to receive from ABB as an integer integer value okay so we will uh, see that uh, so I al uh, already downloaded this program now we need to configure the OPC server for uh, the Siemens uh, S7 PLC okay so Simatic manager it doesn't have an it doesn't comes with an OPC server so I'm using a third-party OPC server called a kept server okay so this is kept server so this can act as an OPC server for Simatic uh, S7 PLCs so first thing you have to add the channel here sorry select the the PLCs like uh, Siemens ABP so here I am going to use the Simat, uh, Siemens TCP IP Ethernet so click next you can give some name like uh, we are testing for Siemens OPC okay let this be the name and the network adapter the network that I am using in my laptop this is my network adapter in my laptop which I am going to communicate with connect to the uh, Siemens PLC so select that uh, that particular network adapter okay this you can keep all as default now you need to add the device device is nothing but our uh, PLC so I will name it as s7400 select your PLC which is x7400 and the IP address of your PLC so my PLC IP address is this one 192.168.184 so this is my IP address click next all this default you can keep this as default and the port number it should be 102 which is the port number used by Siemens and here you need to mention what is your CPU slot so my CPU slot is 3 so mention 3 ok now let's uh, uh, here you have to uh, show the program folder from where, where you have saved the program you show the this file .s7p this is the backup file program backup where you are, you are going you are from where you download the program that same location this uh, backup should be mentioned okay that's it your kept server is done now let's add some tag so m15.0 
this is my Siemens heartbeat receiver. And the address is M15.0. Okay. Now, uh, heartbeat send. M15.1. And we will add one test which is MW400. This is to just to make sure that uh, I am receiving 20 when I go online with this uh, OPC server so that we can make sure our OPC server configuration is correct. Then I will be receiving integer value from ABB uh, to MW410. Okay, so I have configured my tags. Uh, I will. You have an OQ uh, line here where you can see what is the online value right now. So if you go here, yeah, you can see the the test that is the MW four hundred. I'm receiving twenty. So my uh, OPC server is configuration is correct, and I'm receiving the values. Now let's uh, minimize this. Now we will go to the ABB program. So I have uh, a pro ready-made program here. So in this I will be using this uh, heartbeat signal to send to Siemens and I will be receiving the heartbeat from Siemens and this will glow green. So basically my uh, variable is this variable heartbeat sent. So I'll be using this variable to send the heartbeat from ABP to Siemens and from Siemens I will receive this one. So now let's uh, configure our OPC server. Okay, so for that you need to go to the project options. Okay, in this simple configuration you need to click all this and you, you have to select the entire project. If you want the entire variables to go to your courses OPC server, select all and select all this and click OK. Now uh, in your communication parameter, you need to note down which address you are going using to communicate with your ABP AC500 PLC. So I'm using this one. I click OK. Then in the target setting, you need to mention, uh, you need to click this to download the simple file. If you don't do this, your OPC server will not work. And you need to build the project. Now go online, login, okay. So the PLC part is done. Now let's create the OPC configuration for the courses. For that you can, you need to go to your installation folder uh, program files create software courses and configuration i'll delete this i'll add a new okay so uh, give any name like uh, OPC. Yes. okay so you can keep all this default if you if you have a big program or big data exchange you can increase this value like 1000, 2000, the memory buffer. Then select all those. Then you click on the connection. So here is the place where you define the your PLC address. So click the address that you are using to communicate with the PLC. So I'm, this is my address. I click OK. So my OPC configuration for the courses is done. Now save it. Okay. 
and let's do one more download just to make sure my values are dumped to the OPC server okay so my right now my OPC configuration for ABB is done and my OPC configuration for Siemens is done now how do you transfer the data between two OPC server for this you need another software and the software that I'm going to use is uh, software called OPC expert which is again a free software and by far one in my experience one of the best software available so this is again a free software and uh, create one more okay so open this so this is your local server so you can see all the servers that are running in your PC okay I have so many office servers installed so I can see all my office server here now uh, open the the one that we are using is ABB so ABB is codes is OPC DA software DA OPC server so open that okay so it already detected my PLC and you can see all the variables that we have configured all these variables now it has come to my OPC server uh, okay we'll check uh, if you are receiving the if you are getting the heartbeat value here so this is the heartbeat send yeah you can see it is toggling and this is the one that I'm going to receive okay now let's open the kept server here kept server is the Siemens okay you can see the channel here and the tags that we created so we'll call all this here and uh, the test I should be getting 20 yeah showing 20 okay so now uh, now we need to send this heartbeat to the receive heartbeat of uh, Siemens so I'm going to send from here to here and it is so easy just drag and drop here okay now once I send it I have to receive the heartbeat to ABB so I'm receiving from here so drag from here and drop it here okay now let's also define uh, one integer value so um, I'll use this integer value to drop to this one okay say some warning just click ok now our bridge is done okay now we need to uh, click start to start the service okay so you can see my source is from ABB destination is Siemens and um, Siemens is also changing and my heartbeat received from Siemens so the destination is uh, Siemens uh, yeah and I am receiving the value okay so now let's see so you can see my heartbeat I am sending and receiving heartbeat sending receiving you can see the same thing happening in Siemens see I am receiving the heartbeat and I am sending it now we will load the value yeah in uh, 410 so I have connected uh, this variable ABP HMI speed reference is a just a variable I created where I can change the value so I will change the value 26 so you can see this value coming here yeah 
27. Okay, 50, 50, 92, 92, yeah, so my OPC bridge is working. So to summarize, you need to have uh, three softwares to do this. So one is the CAP server for the Siemens uh, OPC server, then uh, Codesys OPC server for ABP then to bridge these two servers we need this OPC expert software which is all free softwares so this is as I said it's an, like an experimental project where you can use your laptop or PC as an OPC server to transfer the data between two two servers so i hope this was interesting so thanks for watching this video thank you